there, I have a card today that features our new Color Cloud inks for you and a really, really cool technique on the background. So I'm really excited to show that to you. But first, we're going to run you through all the products we'll be using. I have the stamp for the orange blossom leaves and the matching die set. We will be using the complete petals on the orange blossoms as well as the uh, butterfly from the Magical Butterfly set. And get a hold of it there. The sentiment will be cut out with our Pierce flags. And the sentiment itself is coming from Delightful Sentiments. And then I'll show you the Color Cloud colors we'll be using. First up, I have Soft Cerise. I am also using Chic Viola or Viola, uh, Rose Blush, and the last color I've chosen is Summer Sky. Now I just want to do a little bit of um, uh, explaining about these new inks. They're absolutely gorgeous colors. Um, I will take the lids off here and you can see how they're put together. And this one, I'll show you, this is how they come with a uh, foil lined uh, top, so they're sealed completely. And you can see there's a um, kind of a round donut sponge, and when you ink, you can pick up the ink from the top through that. Now, when you first get them, you'll need to remove your liner, and I just use my pokey tool to go around like that. And once you've taken that liner off, you are not going to want to store them upside down at all, so make sure they're always right side up because they are very, very inky. Okay, so I'm going to be using these today. Let me move them to the side with our new uh, smoothies. And these come two to a pack, and they're latex um, sponge, sponging balls that are completely rounded on the bottom so you don't pick up any edges. And then you've got a little tip you can use for like getting into fine areas, which is kind of nice, but it also gives you something to hold on to. So let me show you what I've done on this background to start. I've just taken a piece of uh, coconut white card and ordinary tissue paper, okay? Done a little bit of crumpling up. And what I'm gonna do is tear into some pieces. Doesn't matter what size, what shape, just do a little bit of tearing, okay? Using the uh, Cosmic Lacquer, I'm going to put a little bit onto my card. And I'm just gonna do a section of this because I have one already finished. But we're going to just pop these into place and give them a little bit of wrinkling. You can use a little bit more, and the lacquer will act as sort of a glue. Okay, pop that down. I just use my fingers when I do this, so it is a little bit messy, I have to admit, but it's really nice, and it's sort of relaxing too. Pop that down, and then you're gonna maybe have to lean underneath it to catch the edges and make sure it's down really nice and good. We'll do a little bit more here so you can sort of see it. It's fairly quick in the, um, the makeup of it. You overlap it and just, you can make, make it even go off the edge of the page and then you can um, trim it with your paper cutter when it's all dry. A little bit like this, give it a good scrunch. Tear a few more pieces and we'll add a tiny bit more. So you can see there's no right or wrong to this. All right, now if I have any, what I call really dry areas, then I'm gonna go over the top and add a little bit and kind of work it in with my finger and just start to get some uh, texture to it, okay? So you can sort of see how that's coming along. Now this will need to dry, so you leave it overnight. Let me tidy this up. And what you'll end up with is a piece that looks like this. Okay, so you've got a lot of relief to that. You'll have areas that are a little bit shinier from where you've had more of your cosmic lacquer on there and that adds to the whole overall look of this. Okay, so that's the base to this. Next, we're gonna move on with the color clouds. So I'm gonna bring in my smoothies, and doesn't matter what color you start with, this is the rose blush, and you can see I'm just giving it a pounce so you get the color on there, and we're just gonna add some color, just randomly. Bring in the summer sky, this is a beautiful blue. A few more pounces, and just create color all over the background. The soft cerise. It's a little bit darker. And that'll give you some depth. 
And then the chic viola. Add some more here. And I like the contrast with the dark coming in, so I'm going to add just a few extras of those all around. So you kind of want to make sure it's all covered. So you can go back through with some of your other colors and add in areas here. There is no right or wrong to this, and every time you do it, of course, it's going to look completely different. Now, what I'm going to do is take a, um, a little spray bottle with some water and just give it a, a light misting, okay? So your colors will start to run, and you'll get a little bit of blending. And depending on how much of that you want, you can spray or add a little bit more water. So it'll take away that distinct edge from the, um, the roundness to the colors. There we go. And just let it kind of all go together. You can let it do a little bit of rolling around on your background there. Okay. So I like the way that's starting to move about a little bit. All right, so next you're going to bring a heat tool in and give it a good dry. Starting to get nice and dry there. A couple little spots. There we go. So I've taken most of the water off of that. It might be a little bit damp in spots, but I think that's probably fine. Now, the next thing I want to do is come back in with my gilding waxes. So I've got uh, two colors here I've chosen, Enchanted Gold and Golden Light. And you just rub your finger into the, the pot, and you can go over and pick up some of these um, creases and folds that you put in with your tissue paper. A little bit. The golden light is very, very, or excuse me, the um, enchanted gold is very subtle. So you aren't going to see it too much until I pick it up and move it around um, under the camera, I think. But let me just show you how pretty this is. So you can see, catch some of those colors just glistening in the, in the, the, uh, the lights there. Now I want to add a little bit of the... Um, golden light for contrast. Uh, excuse me, let me get a uh, tissue here. There we go. And this one is deeper, so you're going to get a lot more contrast with this. But it's absolutely gorgeous, I think. Just hit the tops of all that tissue and you get that really pretty veining come through. It almost looks like a marble piece when you're done. There we go. And the other thing I want to do is go around the edge, just do a little bit of a tipping with the gilding wax all the way around the edge to kind of bring it out. There we go. And that'll act as a really nice frame for it too, I think. more. And let's get the last side here. There we go. So you can see how pretty that is. And I just put a little bit extra from my finger around the top here. Okay. So isn't that absolutely gorgeous? It just is a really pretty background. It has a nice color to it, draws your eye in, but I think it'll work beautifully with our flowers. Okay, so I'm going to put that onto our background piece. Now I've used a little bit of gold, our vintage gold card in between my white uh, paper pierced mat. Pop that into place. And like anything else that you've got, um, uh, whenever you use a product that has, uh, that's wet, you're going to have a little bit of rippling with your card. So I'm going to use the mounting foam to straighten that out. You can also uh, pop it under a book or you can run it through your Grand Caliber on your embossing uh, sandwich and that'll help make that nice and flat. So set that to the side. So the next thing I've done is I've gone ahead and created some fl a flower. So let me bring all my little bits over here. And I've cut the orange blossom flower in different sizes. And what I did was I went with a paint pen, 
just around the edge, all the way around the petals, picking up the edge of those, just to give it a nice matching little frame. Just all the way around like that. Really, really easy to do, just takes you a second. There you go. And I think I've got all of those done. Yep, we're good. I'm gonna bring in my mat and we'll do a little bit of forming here. And my paper tool here. So just turn your flowers over on the reverse side and you can work your um, stylus, ball stylus. You can use um, a spoon. There are just so many things you can use for this. I'm gonna get a little bit of shape into these petals. Do these. Just work them a little bit through that. Just gives you um, a little more dimension to your flowers. I like that myself. Okay, that should do. And our Cosmic Shimmer Glue. Pop a little bit in there, a little bit in there. I'm just gonna let that set up for a second and I'm gonna show you how to do your leaves. Now, one of the things I always talk about is um, having your matching stamps and die cutting them with the matching dies. And I tell you to do a template, but I've had people tell me that they don't actually know what that means. So I thought I would show you. So what you wanna do is just get a piece of paper. You can use copy paper, you can use card, doesn't matter. And whatever uh, stamp that you wanna line up with, take that die and just cut it in the center, okay? I'll run that through. out. Now I also have a die cut from that I can use later, but this is what I'm going to use for my template. So I've stamped and embossed in gold the same uh, matching stamp to this. So what I'm going to do is layer this over the top, pop it into place so it lines up just perfectly, and then tape it all the way around the edge so it stays exactly where it's supposed to. There we go. Now this one's got a little piece in here that um, comes up a little bit, so I'm gonna try not to uh, wiggle that too much. And then I'm gonna pop that right back into place and just give it a little wiggle so that you know it's in the same exact spot and then tape it down. Okay, and we're gonna run that through the Grand Caliber to cut our leaf out. When you have dies that are solid and you can't see through them, this is the perfect method to do. And you're sure you'll get the exact cut area that you want. Pop these around. Now, you also want to keep these so that you can use them later. So I always suggest putting them in a little notebook that you can just have all your masks and dies or your um, templates in. So keep that to use time and time again. And then this should pop right out. You just get it. There we go. <laughs> Got it caught. Okay. And you can always save that for a template later too. So now I've got a perfectly cut leaf that I can use that matches. All right. So let's put our flower together. I'm going to offset those so it'll fill in. Give that a second to catch. Yeah. And then I've actually done a couple of the, um, the smaller ones and layered them up, so I'll have one large flower here. Just really pretty layers, and let's say, let's turn it like that. I'm gonna hold that just a second so that the glue catches. There we go, that should do it, okay. We'll bring back our background. I've stamped my sentiment, and I've embossed it in gold, and I've used the Pierce flags to do a white and gold layer. So I'll put this into place. And because I've got some of the gilding wax there, I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue to the back of this so I know it's gonna stay nice and secure. Place that right about like that. There we go. I'm going to seat some um, white tulle underneath my flower as a little bit of an accent. Pop that to the side, oops. There we go, give that a second. In fact, I'll add a tiny bit of glue under that too, just to make sure it's gonna hold. And a 
a little bit of a gold thread. I like uh, having just a couple different accents on underneath my flowers. I think that's pretty. There we go. Give that a second. Oop. That looks like it's caught. I think we're good. We'll check that. And I'll add my flower. Now I did uh, use the tiny little uh, stamen uh, die that's in the orange blossom die set in gold here, right in the middle of my flower. Isn't that pretty? So let's put that on with a glue dot. There we go. Pop that over the top of that. And add our leaves. Now the leaves you can also bring back your mat and you can do a little bit of shaping with this. Just take a, a round uh, ball stylus and add a tiny bit of, just gives them a, a little bit of a roundness to them, gives them a nice look. And I've got a couple here we can do. Just go in from the back, just give them a push. You can spend a little bit more time if you really want to put some uh, realistic shaping to them. It's totally your call. And let's do this one. Give it a little rub down the center vein area, or just give it a hard little push there. You can see that adds a bit of dimension to it. Okay, so now, and these are done in a left and a right facing, so you can choose whichever side you like. I'm gonna add a little glue here. And we'll just tuck them underneath, coming from underneath our tool, like that. And I'll use this one here on the bottom part. I'm going to tuck it right underneath that. There we go. And I'm going to add our little um, butterfly up in the corner. And I've added some three millimeter white pearls to the center of the body. And I've just formed the leaves or the, um, the wings upward. Let me give that a second. And we'll pop that right in the corner and just hold it for few seconds so it catches and we can give the wings some movement. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the way that looks. So you can see the beautiful background showing through. I think that's so pretty. Any sentiment would work with this would be beautiful for a wedding or an anniversary card your choice. And you can make these up ahead of time using any of the color cloud colors that you like. Having a, a nice mixture of them in your own tones, I think that's absolutely beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and you'll check back again with us soon. We have so many videos on our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy them.